friends welcome again today we are going to study chapter 7 weather climate and adaptation of animals to climate in this chapter we are going to study what is weather what is climate what is the difference between weather and climate and we are going to study climate and adaptation of animals in different climatic condition then we'll study about adaptation um, uh, adaptations of polar bear adaptation of penguin adaptation of siberian crane adaptation of red eyed frog adaptation of monkey adaptation of toucan adaptation of lion and tiger adaptation of long tailed macaw and finally we'll study adaptation of elephants so actually we are going to study all these different 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 type of uh, like uh, cases under two heads one is adaptation of organisms or animals in the polar region and next adaptation of animals in the tropical rainforest i hope you got the you know uh, the course of action that we are going to take in this chapter so let's begin with first topic which is weather what is weather day to day condition of atmosphere at a place with respect to temperature humidity rainfall wind speed it is called weather of that place and these factors temperature humidity rainfall wind speed are called elements of weather weather at a place keeps on changing every day sometime it is very warm very humid very cloudy very very windy and sometimes it is very less warm less humid less cloudy and less windy now uh, it is very much clear that weather is not same on any two consecutive days and it uh, keeps on changing <coughs> over weeks and months and all the changes in the weather is caused because of sun and if you want to verify this 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 truth that weather keep on changing then you can follow this activity you just make a table like this and then from the weather report of newspaper or from the internet you record the information in the table given below and observe the changes in temperature humidity and rainfall over a week and you will see lot of fluctuation in all these factors now next what is climate average weather pattern taken over uh, taken over a long period of time about uh, say 25 years is called climate of that place so if the temperature of a place is hot for most of the days and there is more rainfall then we see that climate of that place is hot and wet for example kerala's climate is like this and if the temperature of a place is hot for most of the days and there is rainfall very less then we see that climate of the place is hot and dry like uh, the climate of rajasthan and here in the graph uh, the study of uh, temperature uh, in different months has been studied over a different span of years or different span of time now next topic is climate and adaptation of animals animals living in a very cold climate and very hot climate should have special features to protect them from these adverse climatic conditions so uh, you know in polar regions it's very very cold and it remains cold throughout the year and temperature can be as low as minus 37 degrees celsius for six months sun does not rise and for six months sun does not set and some of the animals found in the polar regions are polar bear penguin musk oxen reindeer foxes seals whales siberian cranes and you will see uh, the picture of these animals in coming slides and now we will study about the adaptation of polar bears uh, which it has developed in its body to protect from the adverse climatic conditions in polar regions 
you see they have white fur so that they are not easily visible in snow and it helps them in catching their prey and uh, they have two layers of fur to protect them from extreme cold they have layer of fat under the skin which also helps them to protect from cold their paws are very very wide very very large and it helps them to walk on the snow comfortably and it also helps them to swim in water they have strong sense of smell which helps them to catch their prey easily you see how beautiful polar bear and its cub is looking now we'll study about adaptation of lovely lovely penguin you know they have white colored bodies so that they are not easily visible in snow they have thick skin and lot of fat to protect them from cold they huddle together they hug together and it has to keep them warm they have streamlined body and webbed feet which help them to swim in the water you see beautiful reindeer and you see fox how thick its tail is and how woolly woolly its body is you see the body of seal it is streamlined you see the body of whale it is also streamlined and there is lot of fat in the body which helps whales and seals to keep their body warm and it helps to insulate from cold and musk oxen picture you see how woolly its body is it's looking very very beautiful and uh, now we'll study about adaptation of siberian crane siberian crane must keep its body warm to survive in the winter so during winters it migrates far away from warmer places siberian cranes come to place in india like bharatpur in rajasthan and sultanpur in haryana to escape from extreme winter in siberia and uh, tropical rain forest is our next topic a tropical rain forest have hot climate the minimum temperature is more than 15 degrees celsius and maximum temperature is more than 40 degrees celsius days and nights are almost equal length these regions also have plenty of rainfall the tropical regions in india are western ghat assam in world of uh, tropical regions are southeast asia central america and central africa okay so uh, the, uh, now we'll study about the common animals which are found in the tropical climate uh, these are monkey apes gorillas lions tigers elephants leopards snakes lizards insects and birds now we'll study about adaptation of red eyed frog red eyed frog lives on trees it has sticky pads on its feet which helps it to climb on the trees now adaptation of and monkeys monkeys we all know it lives on trees and it's very very naughty animal they have long tails for grasping the branches their hands and feet also them to hold on to the branches now adaptation of toucan toucan lives on trees they have long and large beak which help them to reach the fruits on the branches now we'll study about adaptive features of lion and tigers lion and tigers have thick brown skin which help them to hide easily in the forest they have sensitive hearing sharp eyesight which help to protect them from predators and help to catch their prey easily now adaptation of lion tailed macaw which is also called as beard ape lion tailed macaw mostly lives on trees it feeds on fruits leaves stems flowers birds and insects which it get from the trees now last but not least we are going to discuss the adaptation 
of the elephant. We all know elephant has a long trunk which it uses as a nose and also used for picking up food. It has strong sense of smell. It has tusk and uh, the tusk are modified teeth which help it to tear the barks of trees to eat. Its large ear help to hear even soft sounds. It also help it to cool itself in hot climate. Now I want to uh, give you the summary of uh, this uh, chapter. Uh, we studied that day-to-day -day condition of atmosphere at a place with respect to temperature, humidity, rainfall, wind speed is called weather of that place and weather is generally not same on any two days uh, and it keep on changing after two days and weeks and after weeks okay so maximum temperature of the day occurs generally in afternoon while the minimum temperature occur in early morning times of sunrise and sunset also changes throughout the year and all the changes in the weather are driven by sun and next point we studied average weather pattern taken over a long time say uh, about 25 years is called climate of that place tropical and polar regions are two regions of earth which have severe climatic condition next point we studied animals are adapted to the conditions in which they live the next we studied about the polar regions which are very cold throughout the year and sun do not set for six months in a year and in other six months it does not rise and then we studied uh, animals in the polar regions are adapted to extremely cold conditions by having certain special features such as white fur strong sense of smell a layer of fat under the skin uh, wide and uh, large paths for swimming and walking then we studied migration migration is another means to escape the harsh and cold climatic conditions and uh, because of hospitable climatic condition huge population of plants and animals are found in tropical rainforests and uh, animals in the rainforest are adapted such that they eat different kind of food to overcome the competition of uh, food and shelter and next point uh, some adaptation of animals living in the tropical rainforest includes living on the tree development of uh, strong tails long and large beaks like in toucan bright colors sharp pattern loud voice diet of fruits sensitive hearing sharp eyesight thick skin ability to camouflage in order to protect themselves from the predators so uh, the nature has developed all the animals in such a way so that they can uh, uh, face and they can um, fight against the climatic conditions so that they can adapt to the climatic condition and live their life comfortably. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, till I launch next video, I want all of you to keep rocking and very best of studies. Thank you. Thank you once again.